You're watching UNICEF Television. For over two years, Melbena Village in the Burena Zone in southern Ethiopia has received no decent rainfall. The impact has been devastating for the largely pastoral community. Over the past nine months, the arrival of a water truck has been the only source of water and provides an essential lifeline for the inhabitants of this village. UNICEF, together with the Borena Zone Emergency Coordination Task Force, supports this crucial water trucking, which every three days delivers 16 cubic meters of water to around 500 households here. Due to the severity of this drought, we have to distribute water by water truck. The community, especially women, are suffering a great deal. Elderly women, pregnant women, they are in bad shape. As you can see, children as well. But with little rain in the forecast, the implications of the continuing drought are dire. With no water and no grass growing, people are losing their cattle, their main source of livelihood. In the past, our livelihoods were based on our cattle. Now we have lost all those cattle. We no longer have a means of making a living. We are in deep trouble. The drought has also caused other serious problems. In the absence of cow's milk, Godana's two-year-old son, Roba, became severely malnourished. He was treated at the Melbena Health Center, where he received care through the UNICEF-supported outpatient therapeutic feeding program. He is now recovering and no longer malnourished. To prevent any future malnutrition, nurse Abdel Nasser now checks up on him regularly and counsels Gudana on how she can better feed her seven children, store her water safely, boil the water before drinking, or use water purification tablets to prevent diarrhea, which can be deadly for a malnourished child. Karfa Wario is grateful for the ongoing water delivery. If the water truck did not come, we would have to move from here. That is how bad things are. As long as the truck brings us water, we will survive on that. UNICEF and partners are continuing to support the government of Ethiopia to respond to the immediate needs of drought-affected areas, including Borena. This is Anya Baron reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, visit unicef.org. Unite for Children.